Okay, so let's talk about dark factors. Um, dark factor is a color changing um, gene, and what it does is you put a layer of um, just a slightly grayish layer over uh, the either blue or green of the bird's body and makes it a darker color. So for instance, right here, this little guy, oh, that's a gray green right there. We're not talking about him today. Um, oops, he flew away. All right, I'm looking for the base colors. There is basic sky blue. She's just as sky blue as she can be. Where did she go? And there is Jester, my pied. He's a sky blue. Pretty as a picture. Well, if you put a dark factor on it, you get a royal blue. Do you see this bird over here? He's more royal blue colored. He's called a cobalt. Um, he has a single dark factor. And then when you have a double dark factor, you get a gray bird like this guy right here on the wire. This is a mauve or a double dark factor blue. If you look at him closely, stop crawling around there, Stormy. If you look at him closely, you can see that his color actually is a gray blue, kind of a slate color. And he has a blue on the side of his head. And you can kind of see it in uh, the blue in his back. But he is a double factor, double dark factor um, blue. And he's called a mauve. Okay, so recapping on the blues. Regular sky blue. Um, single dark factor, cobalt blue or royal blue. Double dark factor, mauve which is a, a blue-gray color. All right, in the greens, let me show you what this looks like. I don't have a double dark factor green in here, but I have a whole lot of, there's a nice light green, and another bird with a, a green with a dark factor, this little guy right up here, he is a dark green. Oh, and the sun's behind him, so you can't see him. There he goes, okay. He's a dark green, so there's those two right there. Uh, he's a dark green. I'll zoom in on him. See how he's, he's not olive green, he's more of a nice Kelly green color. As opposed to my light green guy over there. See him right there? Light and pretty. So, no dark factor, single dark factor, double dark factor. Now, the way you think about this in Hereditary, to keep it easy, is if they have a single dark factor, then they have the gene to pass on to half of their babies. One out of every two ba babies will have a dark factor. If they have a double dark factor, then they have the gene to pass on to all their babies, and every baby will get the dark factor from them. Okay, so that's all about dark factors.